And this is Bill Hurst. I'm here at Highland Hill Farm. We own a lot of tree farms, ranches, and properties that are used for by our uh, tree business to grow trees. And I want to talk to you today about why the Obama administration is bad for our farming and why we're going to have to close down and we're going to have to gradually get rid of all our employees and all our trees and shrubs. First of all, the major consideration in our uh, farming operation is transition. Yeah, I'm getting older, my wife's getting older, and we will die. And there's an inheritance tax liability. And in our case, the liability will be a 55% liability to the federal government for inheritance taxes. There will also be on death a real estate transfer. In other words, the real estate will transfer from our name to our heir's name. So, according to the health care bill, 3.9% tax will be extracted on that transfer because it is a transfer of real estate. There's also a 2% a real estate transfer tax in Pennsylvania and a 5% inheritance tax, approximately. So, these are a lot of taxes. Now, we'll also have to have appraisal fees, probably amount to 1%, legal fees, probably 2%. And we may have fees to a real estate agent or an agency to sell the property for the estate, and that could amount to 5-6%. Now, we have found on our large farm properties that it takes between 4 and 10 years to sell one on the fair market to the highest and best use, which is what you need to pay for inheritance tax based on the highest and best use of the property. That having been said, we will miss the six-month window to pay the tax without penalty. So, the government will have a 15% surcharge for, make, for not paying the tax on time, timely tax payment. Not only that, since it's going to take maybe five, six years, there could be a 5% interest penalty each year. Plus, the real estate taxes on the property each year. Well, if you add up all these taxes... Those taxes amount to about 120% of the value. In other words, by the time you sell the property, for every dollar you receive in sales, you will owe $1.20 in taxes, which means the properties are really a liability. Not only that, the trees that we grow, we have one farm that has 120 acres of trees. And of, on those 120 acres, there's about 1,000 trees per acre. And if you look out in the yard, you can see we grow a lot of high-quality, large caliper trees and shrubs. If we have 120 acres of trees with 1,000 trees per acre with an approximate value of $50 a tree, that translates to a $6 million liability of tax, tax liability, which, again, 55% to the state, or to the federal government, 5% to the state, you know, you know, yada, yada, yada on all the taxes. Now, that only ha that is about a four-year supply of trees for our business, which means we have to sell that in six months. It can never be done. So I've directed that if I get ill and I'm ready to croak, before I die, I want a hydro axe to come in and I want every tree hydro axe to the ground because it's better to clear the ground and have a clean slate for the next generation than it is to try and pass on the trees to the next generation or try and sell the trees, because it just won't happen. It will create a huge tax liability. So, President Obama, you can have your taxes, but you can't have my trees. I'm going to cut them to the ground. I'm going to burn them. I'm going to kill them. I'm going to hydroax them, but you aren't going to get them. Thank you. These are our four-foot emerald greens. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are our Atlas Cedars here at Highland Hill Farm. A real nice blue coloring selection of a tree that will grow fairly large, fairly rapidly. It likes moist, well-drained soils, but can take some clays as long as the clays are not like wet, moist, stagnant clays. Well-drained clay will be fine. It's fast-growing, 
It's been been noted to be 80 feet by about 25 foot wide. It's a beautiful tree, one you wouldn't want to be without. Next to it right here is our Acker Grissom paperbark maple. And then over here we have a bunch of red maples. These are Japanese red maple blood goods. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 and Fountain. Uh, this is a block of uh, witch hazel vernalis. They run in here anywhere from about four to five up to seven to eight and some eight to nine down in the lower end. Uh, beautiful heavy block. Uh, very nice plant. Good native tree. We are not going to run out of three foot hemlocks. It looks like about 2,000 in this field. So just give us a call at 215-651-8329. We can dig a bunch of these for you. They're really nicely trimmed. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. This is a block of emerald green arborvitae, just to give you an idea. These are from 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10 foot. And they held up pretty well through the winter. Sometimes you do lose a, a branch due to snow load, but it didn't seem to be so bad. If we take a look over here, you can see these are techni, and you can see how they just fell right apart. So, a few primadalis, few primadalis in there. But they, the, you can just see the difference, how well these held together versus some of these others over here for the, for the uh, techni and the pyramidalis. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are 12 to 14 foot Niagara Arborvitas and you can see they're nice and full. Just give us a call if you want some real big Niagara Arborvitas. Call us at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are a Kalimner type of Zelkova. Give us a call 215-651-8329. These are green velvet boxwoods. These are about 36 inches. You can see down there we have quite a few more of them. So give us a call at 215-651-8329.